So I created the three works which form the Black Madonna and they basically are, when they're put together, the power of the Divine Feminine. In my book Emerging, I paired the poetry that I wrote when I was actually in the most beautiful place in Fremantle, right on the ocean, and I literally was sitting in the space of our ancestors. The place that we got to spend 10 months is a place where awful things happened. We renovated a house and turned it into a gallery and we were hoping for some healing to occur in that area. But it was very evident to us that the energy was so heavy that we alone couldn't clear the magnitude of deprivation that occurred in that space. This is a space called Arthur's Head. Arthur's Head used to be where they were wailing, where they were killing these most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sea creatures. It was also a place where our Indigenous Australians were rounded up, put into cells, and then taken to Rottnest Island. The energy in this place was so heavy, we could only spend 10 months in trying to create a business that would bring some sort of peace to that area, but it was impossible for us. Even though I had created the beautiful works that comprised of the power of the Divine Feminine, it was not enough to break this curse that is embedded within the earth of Western Australia, of Australia. It is only until people understand and respect and acknowledge and accept what has happened there that there can be any healing. Our Indigenous Australians should have had a voice in the Constitution right at the beginning of when the Constitution of Australia was written. It is astounding and disgusting that there's a referendum where people are choosing whether our Indigenous people can have a voice in their own country, a legislated voice. The horrendous propaganda around this that is confusing people is the same story that when I arrived in Australia, even though I am an Australian through my birthright, I was born in Zambia and raised in Zambia. I arrived in Australia when I was 19 years old and on the news, on the radio, the topic of discussion was how much Australian, Indigenous Australian blood you had in you. And this was the topic of discussion because it was about payment. People did not want to pay for the atrocities committed by their ancestors. And again, I'm hearing the same conversation. People are talking about payment. Our indigenous people should have already had a voice within the constitution. This is an opportunity for our indigenous people to have a voice so that we can move forward and we can actually start acknowledging the destruction that we have caused on a people. It is astounding that people are questioning whether this is something that should happen or not. We need our indigenous people to have a constitutional right because once things are in the constitution, that is when things can change. And yes, I understand it is far too long. This should have happened a long time ago, but let's move forward right now because there is lots of work to be done. Eight short months on the hill. It almost killed me. The energy. And shame on you as an Australian if you vote against an opportunity for our Indigenous people to have their voice in our Constitution. 
Shame on you.